why American and European airplanes are so different. There has been fierce competition between American and European aircraft ever since flying became popular, with Boeing as one of the two titans in the ring. Airbus and these businesses both produce extremely different options regarding their aircraft. However, is one superior to the other? And who is this third enigmatic company that entered the ring recently, beginning with the aviation industry? Despite appearances, it's very simple to distinguish between a Boeing airplane and an Airbus aircraft simply by looking at them briefly. But there's more to it than appearances. The distinctive styles of the aviation giants reflect their distinct engineering philosophies. Boeing has this characteristic nose shape that really stands out, typically more pronounced compared to Airbus. This isn't just for show. It serves several practical purposes, like accommodating different cockpit arrangements. You can spot a Boeing by those trademark eyebrow windows above the cockpit, a pretty unique feature. And don't forget their landing gear. It's got that robust six-wheel truck setup that's a dead giveaway. Now, Airbus takes a different approach. They go for a more simplified nose profile, which is all about maximizing aerodynamic efficiency. Take, for instance, the Airbus A320 series. It has a less noticeable nose than its Boeing pals. Airbus also keeps things uniform in the cockpit, making lives easier for pilots switching between different models. Wow, and when you see that four-wheel boggy landing gear, you're looking at an Airbus. One more thing to note is the height of the tail sections. Boeing planes prefer to have taller tails that contribute to stability, particularly during landings and takeoffs when conditions become a little rough. Airbus goes for a somewhat smaller tail in the name of aerodynamic efficiency, which implies less drag and improved fuel efficiency. Additionally, remember the Boeing wingtips. Boeing loves to add winglets to several of their models. These elegantly angled upward wing extensions aim to minimize drag, enhancing fuel economy, and simply improving overall performance. Airbus, however, favors a more curved wingtip design that also enhances efficiency, while giving their aircraft a different look. Those differences are not merely decorative, they convey a narrative regarding these manufacturers' methods and their planes. Boeing is all about adaptability and flexibility, which is why they adopt a more modular strategy for cockpit layouts and other elements of their aircraft. Airbus, on the flip side, really prioritizes aerodynamic efficiency and keeps the cockpit layout standardized. And hey, we'll spill the beans about that mysterious third player who aims to destroy the other two in a bit, but for now, Let's shift our focus inside these planes, because the differences there can be just as intriguing, if not more so. Now let's dive beneath the surface of these magnificent flying machines and explore what sets Boeing and Airbus apart on the inside. One of the key distinctions lies in the engines that power these giants of the sky. Boeing and Airbus often go for engines from different makers, and these choices can have a big impact on how these planes perform and sip on fuel. For Boeing, it's usually engines from General Electric GE or Rolls-Royce. You've got GE engines like the CF6 series and the newer Jenks powering some Boeing models, while others strut their thing with Rolls-Royce Trent engines. On the Airbus side of things, you might come across Pratt & Whitney engines known for their PW4000 series or engines from International Aero Engines IAA, like the V2500. Each of these engine makers brings their tech thrust, and fuel efficiency magic to the table, which adds to the unique vibes of Boeing and Airbus planes. Now when it comes to the brain of the aircraft, both Boeing and Airbus use fly-by-wire systems, but how they employ them is where the interesting part begins. Boeing chooses a configuration with several redundant systems that provide pilots with the authority to intervene and assume command in those extremely important times. Airbus, on the other hand, mainly depends on automation with its fly-by-wire system featuring some fancy envelope protection logic that stops the plane from going too wild and crazy. These differences are all about their philosophies on pilot assist tech and control backup. Heading to the cockpit, you'll notice some differences there too. Boeing sticks with the classic yoke-style control column for a more hands-on feel for the controls. Airbus, on the other hand, rolls with a side stick control and takes a simpler digital approach to the cockpit displays. These variations are all about optimizing how pilots interact with the aircraft and lining up with each manufacturer's design vibes. But wait, there's more. These are just a few sneak peeks into the inner workings of Boeing and Airbus aircraft. Things like wing design, weight distribution, cabin setup, and the materials they use all play a role in crafting the unique personality of each manufacturer's plane.
and that, my friend, shapes the flying experience for both passengers and pilots. Now, speaking of passengers, let's shift our focus to what Boeing and Airbus do to make sure those folks up in the air are as comfy as can be. All right, let's talk about what passengers expect when they hop on a flight. When you're comparing European and American airlines, you'll discover that the traveler's experience can differ significantly from the seats to the entertainment and even the cockpit design. When it comes to seating, European airlines like Lufthansa, British Airways, and Air France tend to go all out on making their long-haul flights comfy. They're all about spaciousness, so you'll get greater legroom, broader chairs, and some pretty nifty seat setups intended for comfort during those marathon flights. And they're not stopping there. European carriers throw in some sweet extras like bigger windows, quieter cabins, and ergonomic seat designs to up the comfort game. On the other side of the pond, American Airlines like Delta, United, and American Airlines might take a different approach. They sometimes pack in more seats, which can imply reduced legroom and tighter seating. However, they're still keeping an eye out for your comfort. They often offer different seat classes, including premium economy and business class, to cater to all kinds of passengers. Now let us discuss in-flight entertainment. Both European and American airlines are catching up to the digital era, but they carry it out in their way. European airlines usually spoil you with a huge selection of on-demand entertainment. Think movies, TV shows, and music galore. Some even team up with big film festivals, so you might catch some award-winning cinema in the air. Meanwhile, American Airlines emphasizes personal electronic devices and speeds to enhance your in-flight experience. But guess what? A new player is stepping onto the scene, and it looks like American and European airlines might have some serious competition. So let's get all set to rumble. There's a new kid on the block, and they're ready to shake things up. Meet Comac, short for the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, a state-owned aircraft manufacturer with some ambitious plans for the world. While Boeing and Airbus have been making all the decisions for ages, Comac's arrival is igniting a fierce rivalry. In terms of appearance, Comex planes seem to borrow a little something from both Boeing and Airbus. Take the Comex C919, for example. It rocks a blended wing body design that's suspiciously close to the Boeing's 787 Dreamliner. This design is all about boosting fuel efficiency and giving passengers more room to stretch their legs. And if you look at the nose and cockpit layout, you might identify some commonalities with the Airbus A320 series. It's like Comac's taken a bit too much inspiration from the industry giants. But Comac isn't just following the crowd. They're putting their twist on things. You can't miss the Chinese cultural symbols and colors sprayed all over their planes, inside and out. The exterior often flaunts intricate artwork that celebrates Chinese heritage, setting it apart from the more traditional looks of Boeing and Airbus. And once you're inside, you're surrounded by Chinese themes that give you a powerful feeling of pride in one's country and culture. Now, Comac isn't playing in just one spot. They follow the same regulations as the major players. For engine selection, the C919 complements CFM International Engines, a partnership between General Electric and Safran Aviation Engines, the same engine contract that Boeing and Airbus have been going on for a long time. This shows that Comac is all about sticking to international norms and leveraging established engine tech. 